This is just a quick tutorial to get you started mapping Autica custom songs in Not Reaper version 1.3. This tutorial will go over the basics to get you started mapping your very first custom song. So after launching Not Reaper, uh, go ahead and click New Autica, and on that page you can select a audio file. Uh, this audio file can be AUG or MP3, doesn't matter. And once Not Reaper loads that, you can put in a song title and your mapper name. That's just your username. And after that, click Generate Autica. So, once we're in Not Reaper, uh, the first thing you want to do is take a look at the F1 menu. Now, this menu basically has everything you need to know uh, to get started mapping, and you can scroll down and see different categories of things that you'd like to learn about. Uh, but the first thing that we're going to focus on is timing. That is very important for our song. So, as described in the F1 menu, we're going to press F2 to enable the waveform so we can see the music. And we're going to move our cursor to the first um, like sort of like where the beat starts in the music. To do this, in the bottom right, we're going to change our beat snap uh, so something a little bit higher so we can move around a little bit more finely. And then once we do that, we can hold down control and then scroll to use even more precise uh, snapping. Once we get our cursor to the right position, we're going to press B to add a timing point. And here we're going to enter the BPM of our song. In this case, it's 174. Uh, you can just Google this for your song, you can find it online. And once we do this, you can see that the waveform regenerates. And if we press Control plus Space uh, to enable the metronome, you can see that the metronome ticks now sound in sync with our music. So currently there's not very much silence at the start of our song, and it kind of just starts right away, which might not be the best for players. So what we're going to do is we're going to press F5, and doing this we can add some silence to the start of our song. Uh, so I'm going to add one second. And after a bit of processing, uh, Not Reaper will add the silence, and we're good to go. So now we're going to start taking a look at actually adding some notes to our map. So if we head back to the F1 menu, we can see all the shortcuts for notes and switching colors. Uh, so it's just 1 through 7 for the note types, uh, swapping colors with S, and then changing hit sounds uh, with the QWERTY keys. And then of course you can use Ctrl Z to undo note placements, and then N to disable the grid snapping and then G to switch back. So to actually place notes, we're going to click the note type we want on the sidebar, and then press S to change the color of it to what we want, and then you can just click on the field to add notes, and then right clicking on a note will remove it. So let's look at something a little bit more advanced. So let's say I want to copy this pattern right here, but I don't want to just remake the entire thing. What I can do is I can use drag select by holding down control and then dragging on either the timeline or the grid. And I can select these four notes right here, press control C to copy, and then control V to paste them. And then I am able to hold control and move around these notes uh, either on the timeline or on the grid so I can reposition them to exactly where I want them. Also, using Control F and Shift F, I can flip them horizontally and vertically, or I can just swap the color by pressing F by itself. And don't forget, all these hotkeys are in the F1 menu, so if you ever forget them, just go back there to check. Okay, so now let's take a quick look at sustains. Sustains are basically like any other note, uh, except for the fact that you can change uh, their length. So if we place a sustain and then hold down Control, uh, we can click these little arrows to change the length of it and length is affected by whatever your beat snap is. So if you have a lower beat snap, it'll obviously snap more and opposite. Once you finish mapping your song, uh, it's pretty much mandatory to set a preview point uh, that'll play whenever the user hovers over the little sound icon in Autica. And to do this, we just click the set preview button in the metadata menu, and it will set the preview point to wherever you currently are in the song. One thing you'll also want to do before you start mapping is to pick the difficulty for your map. So in the metadata menu, there's a little drop down for difficulty selection. And by default, expert is the only generated difficulty. But if we click here, we can select a different difficulty and click generate difficulty to add that difficulty to the Autica file. If you've already mapped um, some stuff in another difficulty and you want to copy it over, uh, simply load the difficulty that you want to copy from and click copy to other, and then you can select the difficulty that you want to add the notes to. If you'd like to delete a difficulty, uh, just select it from the menu, just click the trash icon, uh, it'll ask you are you sure, and just click yes. So after you've finished mapping your song, you can press Ctrl S to save, or save in the pause menu, 
and then let's head into our file system and if we go into the not reaper folder wherever you installed it and look inside saves uh, that's going to be where the audica files that you generated are now to install our songs uh, you just want to go to the audica folder this can be found through steam by clicking browse local files on audica and then navigate into streaming assets harmonics audio assets songs i think um, and then drop those two audica files into that folder and then they will show up in game under the extras tab thank you guys for watching this quick start tutorial i hope it was helpful to you in some way uh, if you still have any questions about mapping or not reaper in general then be sure to join the Autica modding discord that i've linked down in the description thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video adios